All right, welcome back to the third part of this uh, tutorial series thing I'm doing. Uh, so this one wasn't actually a planned one, but the server I've been playing on seems to be having some issues in regards to some cars kind of spawning in, despawning, spawning in, despawning, spawning in, despawning. So I figured, you know what? Let's just go over car spawners, uh, car generators and how they work, how they might be able to fix this issue, how you can add a bit more life of an interest to your builds um, and how you can add, you know, cars that don't usually spawn in the world into the world. So the first thing you want to do is when you have loaded up Code Walker, so forth and so on and so forth. If you don't know what Code Walker is, then first of all, go back to the first part, second part, then come back to this one. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is if you go up in the top left, uh, hand corner thing up here click on the drop down and we select car generator so you can see when we do this we now have all these blue boxes so all these boxes are cars car spawners so when we select one you can see they're showing just this default what is that that's uh infernos uh and the reason it does that is because these are all randomly generated randomly picked out cars So they're just going to spawn whatever feels right in this area. So I'm assuming if we create a new project, you can see when we select these, car model is empty, pop group is empty. So it's just going to kind of select the cars that fit for the area uh, at a random. But in the case for a place like this, where I deleted the fucking spawns previously and Code Walker doesn't like to dump cash. So we're gonna go over here. Uh, <clears throat> so in a case like this with the cops, you can see when I select these, these all show cop cars. And at the same time, you can see car model is currently zero for this one, but it has pop group police. So like this one, it still has police, but it's also like car model police three. Same for this one, zero and police. So what I've been seeing is that when you're trying to force despawn cars that are not supposed to be in the world, so in this case, a police or a cop car, they're still spawning in because the spawner is there. This way, like you can fix this by basically just straight up removing it, telling the client um, this doesn't appear, like this is not here anymore. The way you want to do it is just create a new project, select the car spawner, and hit add to project, just like we did in the second part. Uh, and you can just straight up delete them. Normally, I don't suggest you deleting things. Uh, there can be a lot of times where that's going to come back and bite you in the ass. But in this case, it's fine. I have had no issues with it. Uh, so just delete these, save the Y map. Make sure you don't have this Y map already in this case somebody made a change to the police station they might have made a change to the outside double check if that is the case you just want to load that Y map into your code walker uh, by going to file open Y map and then make the changes put it back in and then you should be all good so when we launch the game and we stream in this new Y map these are just gonna not be there same goes for these over here just straight up delete them. So they don't spawn, they don't appear, they don't do anything funky. Uh, all right, well, that's pretty easy. The same goes, uh, let's say, so I've been working on a project over here. You're gonna be able to see that. See, I have a cut out here. I had this car spawn in front of some of the entities I've made and placed. So all I did is just really select that one and I just moved it further up because sometimes it spawns a truck which is even like even longer. It's just gonna cause issues. But I'd like it being there because you know having a car parked outside adds to my build. It adds to the atmosphere. So uh, yeah. So now it's pretty easy. Like car generators kind of kind of make sense all around. There's not too much to them. The only thing that's a bit still not documented is the flags. So let's say all right. You know. 
I want to add specific car to a specific place. Uh, how do I do that? It's fairly easy. You just go up to your Y map in your project. Actually, in this case, let's make a new Y map. We have the new Y map. Click on Y map. New car generator. And you can see it appears. So currently, this is just going to be a random spawning car because car model is zero, pop group is zero. Let's say we want something that doesn't usually spawn in the world, currently doesn't spawn in the world, like all of the new cars don't spawn in the world, and we want that to spawn here. Uh, we can just go to the car model, type in the name of the car. It's not going to be, you know, the actual name of the car, it's going to have to be the entity name. So in this case, I want the, the Dominator GT to spawn. And I know almost by heart that the Dominator GT is called Dominator. Which, if I could spell dominate her, three. So you can see the second I put the three there, it switched over. So, the dominator three there. Just have it a bit like hovering above the ground. And we should be all good. The only thing, like I said, is not covered well is the flag so in this case it just has the default flag so this thing is going to spawn it's going to spawn at random it's not going to spawn all the time uh, what you want to do and i don't know these flags by heart what you want to do is you want to find some spawns in game that you know almost always spawn just copy the flags put them in and you should be good to go i know for uh from previous project that over here uh, 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 where was it? Where was it? Over here. I copied these flags. Actually, it wasn't these. Was it this one? I think it might have been this one. Because usually there was a higher chance of something spawning here compared to over here. So just keep that in mind. Like, my best all around suggestion is check what Rockstar did and just kind of copy them. Uh, it it works, works the best. Because they know what they're doing and they don't have to use these dodgy tools code well code walker is not dodgy but you should get the idea <clears throat> so all we really did is just kind of you know change the car model if you want more or something like we saw previously so for police go to pop group type police and you should also be good to go if you want a spe specific police car Police, two, three, four. That's not a five. Uh, so on, so forth. It's, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, so it's pretty easy. Uh, there's really not much to it. When you're done making the changes for this one, Dominator, three. Just save the Y map. Just call it car gen. Should be good to go if you want to make sure calculate extents ah, actually there's no cal like no need to it calculate flags just you don't have to calculate flags or extents as you can see but just for good measure so that's pretty much it car generators are pretty straightforward they're easy to work with uh they they add you know a bit more to the world that might be the, of interest to your server and uh yeah that's it thanks for watching i'll be back again hopefully